Hello everyone, welcome to Ascending Academy's YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be talking about new recruitment opportunity which has been released by Sikkim Public Service Commission. Now for that, we can go to the official website of Sikkim Public Service Commission, spsc.sikkim.gov.in and uh, on the home page itself, they have mentioned the latest advertisement and notices. We can go towards the notifications by just simply clicking on any of the notification and this uh, page will get opened up. So notification has been released for mechanical engineering students under the roads and bridges department and also for civil engineering students under the roads and bridges department of uh, government of Sikkim. Now if you want to see the advertisement, notification and the scheme of syllabus separately a document has been mentioned for both of the uh, streams separately. Here we can see the advertisement in this advertisement, you can see the number of vacancies. Let's see for first mechanical engineering students. For mechanical engineering, you can see on a regular basis, your recruitment process will be there. And in the level 12 of the pay matrix under road and bridges department, government of Sikkim. Now, um, for this, you can go and apply on the official website of Sikkim itself, uh, Sikkim Public Service Commission. Total number of vacancies are 20 and the categories are also mentioned for various classes. And there are separate vacancies for women as well for various classes. Now if number of students, uh, women candidates are not enough, those will be converted into male candidates. Keep it in mind. And after that last date of submission of application, it is 10th of Dece January 2025. Eligibility qualifications you can see, uh, minimum education qualifications, this is minimum, that means BTEC students are also applicable over here. Diploma in Mechanical Engineering, Diploma in Mechatronics, Diploma in Tools and Die Making and uh, Diploma in Manufacturing Technology are eligible over here. And obviously if you have BTEC in Mechanical Engineering, you can also apply. After this, other qualifications which are required, you should be able to read, write, speak and uh, speak in any one of the state languages. After that must be conversant with the local customs and traditions of Sikkim. What is age limit? Maximum age limit is 40 years, minimum is 18 years and uh, maximum age limit up till 30th of November 2024. What are the required documents? You can see you should have your own um, certificate um, of Sikkim subject certificate or certificate of identification. Identification proof is required. Category certificate if you are from a specific category. After that, if you are employed, uh, you should have NOC from uh, the head of department of your uh, company. After that, uh, marital status certificate also if you are married. The scheme of examination is separately mentioned here itself in the other uh, part. We can go over here. Let me just first finish this and then we can go back and see. After that, uh, you need to require, read the required instructions and everything if required. And application fee amounting for 200 rupees only, right? Which should be paid online by net banking or uh, by Visa or MasterCard. So you cannot use uh, Rupee card over here. And uh, admit cards will be released on the official website itself. And other notifications you can see, other parts. But for us, the most important is the scheme and syllabus scheme of the examination and syllabus. We can go towards the scheme and examination of the syllabus. This is appendix one. Here we can see what is the syllabus and scheme of the examination. Total will be um, 400 marks. So it will be in two papers. Two papers in the sense you can see. Uh, general English, general knowledge will be MCQ and conventional both. It is not decided until now. Uh, MCQ or conventional they have mentioned over here. After that 100 marks and two hours. After that, paper 2 will be your main paper, MCQ plus conventional, 300 marks, 3 hours of examination, right? Scheme and syllabus of the examination for the purpose of filling up the post of junior engineer mechanical under the various departments you can see, right? After that, what is the syllabus for general English? Comprehension of a given package, grammar, passage, uh, grammar is required, usage and vocabulary, reporting, writing, essay writing uh, and precise writing. General knowledge, the questions will be designed to test the candidates knowledge of the current events in local, national and international importance and of such matter everyday observation, right? Uh, after this uh, paper 2, 
maths maths is given the mathematics syllabus is mentioned over here after that um application in this there is sequence and series your 11th class uh syllabus sequence series arithmetic projection geometric progression binomial theorem computer mathematics um binomial theorem after that uh, trigonometric functions angles circular functions of trigonometric functions applications of trigonometry uh differential calculus is there uh, indefinite integrals complex numbers right so you can see matrices and determinants uh good syllabus is there so if you are preparing for any competitive exam like gate and if you are uh willing to go for such exam so you can also apply after that there is physics physics syllabus is mentioned properties of matter is there <coughs> thermal energy sound light uh, after that circuits and systems magnetism is there so 11th class and 12th class syllabus of mathematics chemistry syllabus you can see periodic table periodic properties are mentioned and all other uh, syllabus is mentioned <coughs> after this applied mechanics is there engineering materials is there uh, engineering drawing is there uh, workshop technology uh, basics of thermal engineering and uh, em engineering after that uh, there is computer basics as well so good amount of syllabus is there to 10 topics are there which are to be asked sorry 11 topics strength of materials um, more heat power technology mechanics of materials uh, power transmitting elements engineering thermodynamics fluid mechanics engineering metallurgy so syllabus is huge after that what is the criteria how to go for such syllabus just open up the previous year questions of various state level exams and also for sikkim open up what is the level of questions see the level of questions and based upon that prepare for competitive exams and mostly keep it in mind the level of the questions will be very low it will not be like engineering services or gate exam it will be very easy and after that machine tools is there uh, design of machine elements heat transfer um metrology and car quality control oof good syllabus maintenance and engineering they have i guess mentioned everything in the syllabus whatever comes along so um, internal combustion engines power plant engineering industrial organization and management see uh, one of the best ways to prepare for such vast syllabus is that go for previous year questions and then look out for what kind of questions they are asking and then study for uh, various other state questions as well there are various books which are available in the market including that of aisning academy you can go and look out for the level of questions which are asked in state level exams and then consecutively prepare for that next let's see for uh, civil engineering students uh advertisement this is your advertisement for civil engineering we can see uh, the total number of vacancies which are released are 100 so these are the departments in which vacancies are released there are total 21 categories 100 total vacancies are there and consecutively you can apply for that uh, and for women candidates who are if they are not uh, you know enough they will be converted into male candidates right last date of application form is 10th of january same as that of mechanical engineering if you have diploma in civil engineering from recognized colleges approved by appropriate council of technical education then you will be valid for this examination after this uh, you must be able to read write and speak any one of the state languages must be conversant in local customs of sikkim age limit is 18 to 40 years uh, up until 30th of november 2024 these are the required documents your identification proof uh, if you are from any category so category proof as well and non objection certificate if you are employed right now and also the marital status certificate if you are married after this scheme of examination again it is mentioned in the separate uh, form i'll go back to this uh, appendix 1 let me just look out for this so see here application fee is 200 rupees online net banking is there and uh, candidates are required to also provide the photo identification proof like aadhar card voter card and like that for your um, examination right so you have to carry that with your e admit cards as well after this um see these are more than enough let me just go back to the syllabus and scheme for them 
junior general civil scheme and syllabus this is your scheme and syllabus you can see the scheme is same as that of uh, mechanical engineering students general english general knowledge 100 marks 2 hours main paper mcq or conventional 300 uh, marks 3 hours so nothing has been mentioned about the negative marking and anything like simply they have mentioned the scheme of the syllabus and well as a uh, scheme and the syllabus both they have not mentioned what is negative marking how many number of um, questions will be there they have just mentioned the marks it will be a mix of mcq and conventional after this uh, syllabus is general english and general knowledge you can see uh, comprehension passage grammar usage and vocabulary uh, report writing essay writing and precise writing general knowledge is there which is required to be uh, you know prepared it's same as that of various other exams you can see the syllabus of civil engineering so units and measurement uh, <coughs> construction materials basic surveying mechanics of materials building construction concrete technology geotechnical engineering hydraulics advanced surveying theory of structure building planning and drawing water resources transportation steel and rcc structures estimation costing public health engineering precast precess concrete construction management rural construction technology traffic engineering solid waste engineering or solid waste management advanced construction technology pavement design and maintenance uh, green building and energy conservation building services and maintenance repairs and maintenance of structures advanced design of structures why you have mentioned it separately it should be mentioned over there if design is mentioned over there then fine na? why they have mentioned separately i don't know so many subtopics have been mentioned and the syllabus has been made vast unnecessarily what i think that the same is for mechanical engineering students as well so what they have done is they have separately mentioned the detailed syllabus as well you can go through the detailed um, uh, syllabus if you want um, and uh, to be more precise it's better to go for uh, previous year questions first then, because you need to understand the level of questions they are asking um, then go for the syllabus right the conventional part is also there uh, for both for mechanical and civil engineering students hence we are required to go for basic conventional questions as well which can be asked there is Maharashtra Public Service Commission as well in which questions are asked, um, you know, in a conventional format now. So you can go and look out for the previous year questions of that, them as well. You can go for previous year questions of engineering services for conventional uh, portion and uh, simple questions which were asked in engineering services, right, you know, 10, 15 years back. Simple, simple questions were asked. So you can prepare through that as well. After that, there are a couple of books like Youth Publication as there in which you can prepare for Jurian engineer and assistant executive, assistant executive engineer uh, questions through those books. It's a very good book in the sense of preparing n number of questions through that particular book, right? And otherwise, ACE also releases their um, their handbooks and uh, SSCJ, RRBJ uh, handouts are you know given by ACE Learning Academy also in various platforms. So you can go for that as well, right? And for detailed notification, you can go to the official website and you can look out for the syllabus if you want. So thanks for watching this video. And I hope I was able to give you a detailed overview of this recruitment process. And uh, thank you for watching. And please do subscribe our channel. Thank you.